Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to look, take a look at the, 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 the update and we're going to do some Grand Tournament and hopefully, uh, well the Grand Tournament we won't really notice this video but in, in a future video I suppose, uh, but we'll see if it's fixed or not because it, they, the developers said like uh, they think they fixed it last time so hopefully it's going to be fixed this time around, the, the fi finale that is. So. Yeah, that's about a, a good inter intro, I suppose. So let's get right into it. So we have Angel's Favor, which it can give Isolde shards. Rumored to have fallen from the Angel of Fletch. If it was, yeah, we'll just read off the updates first and then we'll do things. So new features and gameplay. New Solarm Guardian Wings, we'll take a look at that. New function, festival titles, we haven't seen that yet. It's not... It's not to be seen, uh, festival titles I've seen everywhere, so it's not here. Uh, we have Angel's Favor, which is this system, uh, but yeah, Angel's Festivals or whatever isn't here yet. Artifact inher Inherit and Recycle, I'll show that. New minion card st stacking, expensive self masquerade sets, Ex yeah, it's new things, new mounts. Obviously Artifact, they don't even have the state that anymore. They did Magic Residue and Storming it into Tycoon. Uh, Sapphire has been decorated for Halloween. That hasn't happened yet either. I assume that will happen in the full thing tomorrow. Pet Awaken, Max Awaken level to 17. You can recycle blue and purple relics now. We'll also take a look at the Pet Awaken things. Um, I'll spit when I'm talking because that's what I do. Uh, the most favorite hero. Added more heroes. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much... Yeah, you know, like you can vote or whatever. Roses or something. Echoes of Fate, renamed to Echoes of Doom, uh, so it's Echoes of Doom now, you can see that. You can now drag the map, I assume we can do it... Uh, how can you drag the map again? Suppose we'll f figure that out. Uh, you can now drag the map. Oh, it's probably, yeah, it's in Echoes of Doom, alright, I can see. Uh, locked chapters will not be displayed in the map when players have cleared all the chapters before X ones and own the required hero. They will receive a hint with side quest completed. Trial of Valor added a reminder in the main interface when you have AP left, optim optimized display, um, ranking, optimized search function, and guild, which is interesting. We'll see if we can fix f uh, would see that as well. Fix an issue with exclamation mark. Yeah, that has been a problem for a while, so I'm glad I fixed that. Autumn wins, fix the bug where wrongly displayed in the outfit icon. Guild boss, angel blocks, fix the bug, 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 fixes. Hopefully they'll fix more things. Um, so yeah, let's uh, first of all take a look at Angel's Favor because I clicked on it. So here, Angel's Feather, rumored to have fallen from the Angel of Flight. She was corrupted and can be exchanged in, uh, for items in the Angel's fa Favor shop. You're not getting these special ones, not yet anyhow, you probably need to be a pretty high level to get those. But when you get those, you'll be able to buy Isolde shards and you can buy that two twice a month. You can buy that fully, equipment and chance chest, you can get, uh, you can get that, uh, like uh, remnants. You can get an artifact relic pack, you can get dragon fire remnant chest, valkyrie shards, dragon souls, a bunch of them, mythic evolution pack. Brilliant mana crystals, that's extremely expensive, holy crap. Uh, a lot of primal crystals, you can get dazzling mana gems, or crystals, relic crystals, duality rune packs, sunstones, sunstones, crimson gems, and red jade. I'm not sure where you get that, maybe by recharging. You can recharge and again they later receive progress. Upgrade whip to increase experience rate, so right now because I'm whip, um, whip high, I'm a pretty high whip level, I'll get more. So earn one progress experience progress every for every one topaz you recharge. So if you do 20,000 topaz, you get 20,000 experience. Log in each day to earn 100 progress experience. Current whip experience bonus or 5%. This month's total experience from recharge. This month's total experience from logins. I have have no idea how that works. Uh, but maybe we can see under privileges if this is added to them. Friend limit, cheer purchase, daily capture, uh, Xever expedition, grand expedition, smelt furnace attempts. Yeah, so it's not there yet, but yeah, that's fine. Normal items, blessed stones, item map, power essence. This is what will most likely have. Well, this is mo what free players will most likely have. 
And I just want to make sure that I'm recording correctly. I should have... Yeah, I was going to do a higher bitrate today for a video, but... I forgot. Um, yeah, I'll try higher bitrate than 60 FPS for the fun of it. Uh, that's a new angel though, is that uh, Eureka perhaps? Maybe that's supposed to be Eureka or something? Yeah, she's showing a lot of boobs, I suppose. And yeah, so that's how it works, and when you level up you get these uh, blue things which you can use for items. So let's say you get 50 of those, you can purchase 50 Blessed Zones, or 50 Power Essence, or 50 whatevers, to be honest. I wish they had like uh, the new items as well from Divine Edge in there, to be honest, that would be awesome. Um, also, yeah, what's the new thing? There's a new mount, and then there's a new solar arm, so let's take a look at the new mount. Let's see his skills and whatnot. I I have checked him out already, but you know what? Let's see. So this is Poltergeist. Uh, when you click on him, nothing happens. Unlike when you click on this one. Oh, never mind. Really? I thought that when you clicked on something, they would like. Never mind. All right. My bad. My bad. It's uh, our artifact, obviously haunts. At start of battle, Storm of Tower Burst and Terror Squad, increasing attack by 25% and agility by 11.5% for 5 turns. That's awesome! Agility and attack. Like, this is the best skill you can possibly have. Yeah, this is the best skill you can have for mount skill, I would say. The advanced skill though, I'm not too much of a fan of it, but it's cool. Uh, reduce attacker's rage by 50%, also reduce attacker's attack and defense by 10% at for 2 rounds. This effect can stack 2 times. The, uh, reducing of rage isn't big enough, I think it w should have been more. Like reducing even more rage from being hit, but that's my opinion. New solar, I have not looked at this beforehand, so this will be a first for me, so... I suppose we'll see if it's good or not. We obviously can't see its enchant skills, so we have that problem. Um, but what it does, it looks like wings. Looks kinda insane though, doesn't it? It, it looks awesome, it's probably probably my favorite looking one. It's only level 1, so it'll obviously be stronger. Uh, grants the falling effects on entire score for 2 turns. Grant a shield that can absorb damage equal to 63% of attack. That's fantastic, that's like uh, Titan Grip. Increase the def target's defense by 5%, restore 3% of target's max HP at, uh, at the start of each turn. And this will obviously be way higher when it's high up there. But we can't like see... We can't we can't see anything and... You can actually see this? I did not know that. Enhanced guide? Uh, so let's look, look at the skills first. Increase guardian... Um, shield death bonus to 10%, increase max, max HP restored. Um, per uh, per thing, per per round. It doesn't say how much though, because when you hover your mouse over it, it doesn't like specify. Uh, but yeah, it increases the max HP you get, and uh, at level six, it increases your defense bonus by twenty four percent. So I assume it increases HP by, because how much is it basically? How much is this one? 5% uh, and 3%, so let's just say that it increases like 20 HP per turn of their max HP, which is ridiculous when people have 600 million. So that's awesome. And then we have Bulwark, which is Guardian Shield, also have a 25% to remove negative effects. Um, well, pu purity, I guess. And then it'll obviously have 100%, it's like... Uh, this is like a shield mixed with a Dragon Roar Lance, but it's a better shield and it's a better Dragon Roar Lance. Uh, Guardian's shield also increases target dodge and by 25% increases dodge by 100 and block by 100%. Block rate even increases target dodge by 100%. Yeah, remember this is only for two rounds, but 100% dodge bonus. That's f whoa, man. That's awesome. 100% dodge buff. That's freaking insane, man. Yeah, maybe this will be, be, just be an update video, to be honest. This is taking a while. Uh, it's only for two turns, though. I wish they had it for four or five turns. Uh, but it's awesome for, for what it is. But yeah, they, they should have it for more turns. But this is an awesome, awesome, awesome looking uh, one. It's look, It looks awesome. It's weird how it's like that now, though. Does it fix if I do that? 
Um, yeah, there we go. So it's awesome, it's awesome, and especially that last one, 100% dodge threat, you'll dodge all the time. You'll dodge 100% of the time. What's in this limited gift pack anyhow? 4,000 topazes for recharging what? Uh, 400, and yeah, alright, alright. Uh, Bone Dragon, Purple Yade, Wicked Ore, I don't know why they're even offering Wicked Ore anymore. Such, such bad. You know, and that's also horrible, that's like 50 level 10 crystals. It's so, so, so bad. Uh, and let's take a look at the clothing as well. Uh, let's take a look at the new clothing and see how it is. I'm curious over how it looks. And what it, what skills it has, most of all. Autumn Winds, yeah, I didn't really cover that, but everyone knows about it now. Um, Our Angel Academy, Celestial Lovers. So yeah, Tribal Warlord, Paradise Land, Summer Fantasy, Ghost Festival, Arcane Enemy, Autumn Winds, this isn't, yeah, this is, um, uh, Masquera. Oh yeah, this is new, right? Masquera. Yeah, let me just double check. Um, new outfits, uh, Masquer Masquerade, ch Masquerade, alright, let's take a look. Alright, by the way, I learned a new word during the live stream yesterday in Corona and pr proficiency. I know how to say it now, man. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a freaking pro dude. So it's artifact, of course. Uh, it's looking kind of cool. It's a Halloween outfit. Let's take a look at the skills. Uh, normal skill. Um, deal 180. This is level 1, right? So it'll obviously be way, way higher. So it'll deal damage to two enemies and heal with the lowest HP and heal self for 50% of the damage done. That's insane. Because that's, let's say that's, uh, that's like 300% or something at level 15. And you deal, let's say, yeah, you'll deal several, several, uh, you'll deal hundreds of millions of damage. So you'll heal a lot. So it's a pretty much an insane knife steal skill. Pretty much. And heal self for, yeah, that's awesome. Bloodbats ultimate skill. Deal to 70% damage, this will obviously go over to 400% uh, at level 15. To the target with the lowest HP and half of that damage to surrounding uh, enemies. Also inflicts a blood curse on the main target that causes all self-healing effects, including lifestyle and re HP recovery from the target to heal the caster of curse instead. I uh, what? So she's dealing to the surrounding targets. Also inflicts a blood curse on the main target that causes all self-healing effects, including the lifesteal and HP recovery from the target to heal the caster of the curse instead. The blood curse lasts two rounds, ignores immunities and cannot be dispelled. Um, so it's pretty much uh, from the target to heal the caster. Of the curse. Oh, I understand. So you're stealing their lifesteal. So when they're lifestealing, you're going to get their lifesteal. And uh, when they heal every round, you're going to get their healing. And it can't be dispelled, and it's for two rounds. That's OP. Blood bats, that's an insane skill. You'll be a freaking insane tanky main. That's an, that's a, that's an awesome main skill right there. To, to heal the tar caster of the curse instead. That's insane, that's very powerful. Yeah, so what happens is, to explain it easily, let's say you hit someone with this ultimate skill, uh, the main target, whenever they, uh, whenever, when they're, whenever there's a new round, everyone gets HP if they have HP from Velix or Runestone, you'll get the HP they were supposed to get so they're stuck. And same goes for lifesteal, so they cannot heal at all unless they're healed by a healer hero. So with this, you'll be able to kill people. Because say your main hits enemy main hitter with this, right? Then they can't live steal, and then you can easily kill them because it's for two rounds. So this is a killing skill. Uh, this skill right here is worth it mainly because of blood curse. Blood curse is an insane, insane debuff. It's a it's a crazy debuff, man. It's a, it's an insane debuff. So. It's a, it's a crazy debuff. Like, the skill is worth it only because of that debuff. Because when people can't lifesteal or heal, you're screwed. <laughs> you're screwed. So that, that skill is insane. 
Holy crap, what a skill. What other stuff was there? So Guardian Wings we've seen. Festival titles is not here and just favor. Favor, yeah, let's check uh, Angel uh, Artifact and Arid. Uh, of the two heroes will be swapped. Yeah, so what happens here? Let's say you have, uh, I don't have any Artifact heroes. The progression of the two heroes will be swapped. So that means if, um, if you're lazy and you don't want to swap people's stats, like let's say... Uh, uh, yeah, this is only for artifact heroes. Let's take a look at rules. Spent topaz to swap level upgrade awakening while the power. Yeah, it's pretty much everything. Uh, yeah, it, it's pretty much everything. And limits five days. If you're lazy and you don't want to revert uh, an artifact hero, you can do it this way. Like if you have a plus twenty Tia and a plus twenty and a plus zero Lulu and you want a Lulu focus instead of a Tia focus which you don't want to because Tia is better uh, you can inherit and you can you can swap their stats pretty much it's it's quite self-explanatory but it costs Topaz I'm not sure how much maybe like 200 or something or 500 I have no idea it's definitely not definitely not worth it your time you can just revert and do it the normal way it shouldn't cost Topaz to be honest because you can do it for free mini card stacking sure uh, what else? Awaken level. Yeah, I wanted to take a look at this. Uh, so now it's level 17, which is 3500%. You need 29,000 uh, energy gems per, and you need a lot of awakening crystals. Uh, I have I have a lot of uh, I have a lot of crystals. Well, um, and yeah, it's just just that. It doesn't give you an extra grace count or whatever. It's just it's it's just there. You can get even stronger. Uh, so hopefully you have saved up several several hundred k uh, things, <laughs> things from there I suppose. Um, is there anything else? Uh, let's take a look here. Uh, inherit we've gone through. Poltergeist we've gone through. Max Awakening level we've gone through. The purple and whatever that's useless for us. Uh, I guess I can show it that you can sell them maybe or something like that. Uh, well, I don't have any. <laughs> So sorry, I'm sorry. Uh, mysterious treasure, uh, brave snowless mysterious from uh, have hailed. There is a health collected within nine days. Oh, holy swords! By the way, it's stopping when you're hovering your mouse, so they're doing that. Oh, it is uh, this one, isn't it? It's great. It's holy swords. Oh, if you recharge, you can get ridiculous amounts of things. It's not even worth it to be honest, but you can get insanely many things for that, I suppose. It's cool that they did that though, but you should still be able to just remove it in settings. I'll ask for that to be honest. Yeah, this line here though is much better than the Chinese version because the one in Chinese version is going very quickly away, but this one you can at least move. Is there anything else? Uh, AP, whatever. Angel Black's fixed. Yeah, let's take a look at Echoes of Doom that you to show that you can't see things that you don't do not have. Yeah, so I can't. I haven't finished this. That's why I can't see the X thing. I need the heroes to see the X thing as well. So yeah. All right. Oh, all right. All right. I think that's about it. If you guys uh, did enjoy this video, leave a like and subscribe. It was a cool update and. Yeah, let's hope they had like main rebirth and actually things people will appreciate more. Have a good day guys and goodbye.